What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick from Palax and welcome back to Palax Wall Ball. Today I'm very excited. We're going to be doing a drill that is modified for the wall that is the same type of drill that the Duke Blue Devils use in their practice. So this is a drill that we're going to be working on our hand speed, on our shooting, on our jump shot, and our just split dodging. So let's get right to it. start out, what we're going to do is we're just going to start out by just switching hands, okay? So just switch back and forth. you got to get good hand speed as you're switching if you're going to throw a good split dodge. The way that I teach it is you act like you have a sheath, you know what, you put your sword in, and you just throw it in, pull it out the other side, and re-grab. Throw it in, pull it out, re-grab. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off on the wall. We're going to throw the ball, catch it, split, catch it, split, catch it, split, catch it, split, just like this. So catch the ball and split. Let's say you're at home, you're watching TV, you want to work on your hand speed, you want to work on your skills. All you're going to do is just split back and forth. This is something that my brother Nick taught me when I was like, just found the sport out. And so I just sit in my room and I just split dodge, split dodge, split dodge, split dodge, split dodge. Then as I grew older, I created another way of doing this where rather than just split dodge, so this is something... This is something that I have my players do at home while they're just watching TV. Why not just stand in front of the TV and just, you know, have your stick in your hands? So what you do is just split, fake, split, fake, split, fake. As you're split dodging, there's a lot of different ways to teach split dodging. Some people say to just move it over. I disagree. I like to feel as the stick comes through my hand so I know where I'm grabbing. I think that this creates a better all-around player rather than just coming across. And as I'm playing... I think that that extra movement makes poke checks a little harder to do. I'm not really sure if that happens, but yeah. But so, if you're sitting, watching TV, split, fake, split, fake, split, fake, split, fake. Turn around, fake the dog out, split, fake, split, fake, split, fake. Throw a fake at your mom. No, don't do that. If you, if you screw up, you're just done. Make sure you do this with a tennis ball and that, you know, you're not going to break anything while you're doing it. So, on the wall, throw it, split, throw it, split. Catch and switch, catch and switch. That's all we're doing, catch and switch. So once you've done this about 20 times and you've got your hand speed going, now we're gonna move on to our Duke shooting split and load. All right, so now we're gonna get into the actual shooting portion of what we're doing here. And so all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be throwing the ball off the wall, catching it, splitting, taking one step across, and then shooting over the top. So, and it's all going to be jump shots. You can do it with other shots too, but the, the reason that Duke does this is so they get used to coming up, splitting, and shooting right away. So that's the most important thing. So as you're going, so you can do it two ways. You can run up at the wall, throw your split dodge, come through and shoot it. Or what I like to do is I like to catch it right into my split and then shoot. As if I just popped open, I caught it, a defender's coming my way, I split dodge right into my shot. And we're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. So the first one, I'm just gonna throw it off the wall, catch it, split, step, shoot it. Catch it, split, step, shoot it. This is one drill that we're gonna do full speed. One of the reasons why I don't have a target up right now is because I can't aim for the same spot because as I split, take my step, jump and shoot, I'm gonna be aiming in a totally different spot to make it come back to me if I'm aiming over here. If I wanted to bring two, two targets, I could definitely do it that way. Your footwork is probably the most important part of this drill. Getting used to splitting, taking one step into a shot is one of the most undertaught and underrated things there is. So let's go through each step. So you're gonna catch it, step and split, take one more step, load up our hands behind us, ready to come over the top. Then you're gonna jump, Pull your opposite foot knee into the air. You're gonna pull with your bottom hand, 
snap with your top, come over and end with your shoulders facing the opposite direction. So do like 20 of them real quick. Once again, this is a great drill for your catching. Just like that. Thanks for watching another episode of Palax Wall Ball. I'll have another episode up next week. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys thought of these videos, man. I, I definitely want to tailor them to you guys, the viewers. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, subscribe if you're new. Have a great week. See you guys next time.